membership is also through paid membership, okay? They are closed to the public. Corporations are allowed to have both of these. You go into St. Jude, you say, I want to see your records, I want to do this and that. You're going to look at your records here on this thing. You don't just walk into a board meeting at a corporation and expect to be given everything at a moment's notice, okay? That's not how it works. I was still willing to work with you. But I need to be careful. Jenny, is there a reason why you can't fill me four of your committee members from 2012 to 2012? We're going to get to those as part of the question. I don't understand why you want those We're going to get to those as part of the question, if we can answer it, we will. I gave you a little bit more than five minutes. I'm being courteous. Uh, I don't mind listening. I think you provided good information. I'm not here to make a decision on what you do with your business. I'm just gathering information right now. Yolanda, did you have any input or questions relating to why is the decision of $5,000 to support being changed? Why is it being changed? That was a question that Michelle brought up. I'm trying to answer Michelle's question. Michelle is here. Okay. I'm just trying to answer the question. Why is the decision of $5,000 to support being changed? As far as I'm concerned, I'm not changing it. Uh, just, just so the committee members know, which they should, and those stakeholders that your board members, you should know as well. Uh, on the budget that you've seen right there, that's around, I don't even know where it's at any longer. Okay, this one. Our committee, the three of us, the budget and finance committee, if you know this, Yolanda and Angelica, we don't make any recommendations for funding. We don't do that. So for Jenny or perhaps Yolanda or someone to say, why, why is this committee making a change to the recommendation? Why are we changing it? The truth is, but the finance committee is not an advisory body to approve a project. We don't do that. You go to the Arts and Cultures Committee, or you go to the Education Committee, or you go to another committee, because our committee doesn't make recommendations. I want the stakeholders to know that, the board members to know that. We do make a recommendation on the budget, but us as committee members, we do not decide which projects get funded. Just so we all know, Yolanda, so you know too. Yeah, but okay. I do be called so that's what I'm saying. As part, money, right, as side of the process, when it says, "Oh, well, your committee approved this," as the chair and the treasurer, I'd say, "No, we didn't, because our committee does not approve." Well, right, but we don't even make recommendations. The board approved this. So those are some of the things that we need to, so that the committee members could, could understand, and the stakeholders could understand that they believe it's us making a change. Uh, the truth, if I was still a president before, Jenny, instead of coming to speak to us, you would have been directed straight over to the Membership and Outreach Committee. Because that's the committee that I am waiting for as a treasurer to pay you. But so far, that's why it's on here, which committee has made a recommendation? Zero. No committees. No. So, yes, no committees have recommended to fund your project. We were told last year, even last year, so that you don't have to that was approved. Allocate okay. $5,000. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to get over some of the meeting discussion. I'm going to move to Scott first, and then we need to answer the questions over here. Go ahead, Scott. A couple of questions, uh, Mr. Gambrano, is that in the past, did the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment have any issues in following through with payments of the Bicentennial Committee? Mm -hmm. First question. Question. Okay. And was that allocation for $5,000? Um, okay, your question again, did the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment have trouble paying the $5,000 to the Bicentennial Committee? Part. First of all, the Department of Neighborhood, the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment had issues following through on payment to the Bicentennial Committee within a budget cycle, I would think, uh, two years ago. Okay? And with that allocation for $5,000. The department did not have a problem, and it was not for five thousand. What it was is it was two thousand five hundred dollars, and I believe that was in two thousand and eleven. Uh, and then what happened is, like Jenny had mentioned, they weren't up to date with the IRS paperwork, so it wasn't a problem. Was done. Then the following year, Pamela Marquez was the treasurer. It was two thousand twelve, I believe. They requested another two thousand five hundred. So what we did is we accumulated the two years of $5,000, the Bicentennial Committee did uh, get up to par or turned in all the paperwork and qualified and, and turned in all the documents that they needed to get reinstated, yeah. and then the Bicentennial Committee was given $5,000. That was two years. That was to cover two years, that's correct. And Pamela, I, 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 2009 and 2010. I don't think Those that was, two years? 
are when we submitted the packet, we did the paperwork, we did everything, but and LA42 did not right? pay 2500 and 2500 on each of those years. We had LA42 on as co-sponsored mm -hmm. for the event. He got all the credit for it, and he received no payment during those two years. We were still in compliance at that time. There was no revocation at that time. So, okay. but after the revocation was reinstated and you guys were... That happened recently and I spoke with Melvin Connors about all of it. Okay. He said we did not have a phone. He spoke with the IRS and saw that we were in, um, we were permitted to, to continue doing business and acting as a non-profit organization. So that does not come into play with the 2009 and 2010. I'm not okay. talking after that, wasn't it? 2011? So then I had to submit more paperwork. We showed the receipts for those times, for the 2009 and 2010. And then we got payment, not because of you guys, but we had to go directly to Dunn to collect the payment because it was approved and it wasn't the minutes that we should get those $2,000 on those two years. That's so we did It was from Pam, Pam Marquez. She After. was our treasurer, correct? Pamela Marquez. Yes. yes. So you received 5000 at that time, and was that the last payment you guys received? That was retro pay. That was, was, it was sort of retro pay, but then we paid another 2500 correct? No. And then last year, I requested 5000 and we got 5000 for one year. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead with the uh, questions. I think there's a clarification <coughs> here, Jenny, is that the initial allocation last year, budget cycle was for twenty five hundred. When we came down to the end of the budget year cycle, various committees had money left over that we all put in a pot. And then this is where the stallions came into play, this is where the Little Seal Rec Center came into play, and those funds were allocated from what was left in the pot. So the original allocation for the year was $2,500, okay? So when we came back, we were asking for supplemental, okay, because this document is not set in stone. It's a, it's a document that could be evolved and change. Okay, so the original, because we had money left, so we went back and we also funded the Healthy Start program, the anti-bullying program, and us in middle school. Okay, so the original allocation for the board was 2500 but because there was funds that needed to be allocated, and this goes back to Roxanna's comments earlier this evening about any funds that were sent back to the general fund, pretty well every penny went out the door to various entities, okay? Uh, I would think, well, Roxana, Roxana, let me, let me make the point here, okay? You were at that, you were there that evening when we sat down here and Yoli was there, I think Yoli was the one with the pin, well, either $10 here or $5 left over there, okay? That process was very open and transparent, but for you to say that your initial no, your initial request for five thousand was was initially twenty five hundred. No, sir. Previous board too has stated that <coughs> going back to when Tim Marcus was treasurer, when Tammy Mark when Tammy Membreno was the original president of the 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 board, the presiding board previous board two years ago, the actual amount that was gonna be allocated was gonna be two thousand. And I remember, remember clearly that one of the questions that was brought up at the time was how much was going to be Councilman Lezar's contribution to this. Because, as you know, Councilman Lezar has a special discretionary fund that could literally pay for your whole parade, okay? And the last I checked, that fund was over $800,000, okay? But, but on the other hand, too, back then, the allocation was for 2000 That's what Anthony was alluding to. There were some paperwork issues. That yeah, got sent back by Dunn, and once, and then you were alluding to how previously, before you, before you took over, there was issues with the IRS. Once those, once those issues were rectified, then Dunn went back and rectified that. Yeah. It took it, it took that, and did the favor of going back and paying that because you were almost in danger of not getting those funds allocated because of the paperwork issues here. Okay, so. So what I'm, what I'm saying here is that, also to my other question is, Mr. Manzano, you stated earlier that this budget was, was prepared by Connie Castro? That's one of the questions, and the, the answer will be yes. It was prepared. Who created the budget for 2013 2010? And now, you did the one in this hospital. No, no, we were also at the center. Yeah. Like Roxy, Roxy, you were there. I have a report. Remember, the budget was, no, because the budget was provided at the body of action. It was provided based on the recommendations we did. I 
que están bien contentos de un éxito. Y yo, yo veo el desfile que va mejorando más y más. Cada año. Cada año. Uh -huh. y, yo, y yo vivo aquí en la comunidad desde el año 78 cuando compré mi casa. Y pues, you know, me gustaría que trabajaran en grupo y no estar peleándose entre ustedes y que, y que mejor ser más unidos para ayudar aquí todos los latinos, todos los, de, los asiáticos y morenos y you know, para que el, el éxito del desfile sea un éxito otra vez para este, este cuadro de desfile. Yo vine a la junta mi primera vez aquí, lo que veo me, pues, me desilumó, me dio mucha tristeza de ver que había mucho he said, she said, o sea, o sea, o sea, se olvidó que estamos aquí por our survival community, se vio más que era puro, puro italiano, pues el chisme, pues el otro, y ya se justificó cada lado, se justificó el, la, la mesa directiva, se justificó mm -hmm. our survival community. Y, y la decisión de la que se tiene que venir a hacer es algo que, como estamos diciendo, es algo importante aquí en nuestra comunidad. Es algo que Alcerino necesita. Es algo que es un apoyo que sin comida no es nada. Es, es, es poquito a lo que ellos hacen, a todo lo que ellos vienen trayendo, todo, de, de, todo, todo lo que se enseña. ¿verdad? Es algo que si ustedes no pueden decidir para apoyarnos a ellos, ¿con quién puedo yo hablar? ¿Con Eric Garcetti o con José Wieser? Porque también quiero yo darles a ellos entender cómo el Committee Board estaba confundido. Si está viendo cómo están cosas, y yo quiero decirle a quién. No sé si aquí están correctos, si está Connie aquí o si está... Uh, Edward aquí, o sea, yo quiero saber quién son ustedes para que cuando haga mi promo campaign a uh, Eric Garcetti o José Luis, yo pueda decir lo que yo vi, que no me gustó, que fue algo que yo me sentí incómoda. Yo vine a un lugar según para apoyar mi comunidad y se vio más bien puro chiste, pura verdad, puro tú, 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 y eso no me gustó a mí, porque yo veo que está pasando en mi comunidad, porque yo vivo aquí en Australia, yo tengo años viviendo aquí. Y es algo que a mí me gustaría ver que ustedes se unen, porque yo estoy comenzando un, un grupo non-profit y yo un día tal vez voy a venir a pedirles por algo, porque este grupo que quiero comenzar es con la Escuela César Chávez y es un grupo non-profit que queremos apoyar a la escuelita, ayudarles con cosas para los niños. Yo sé que 